Okay. In this lecture, we are going to understand the concept of multiple powers. Consider this number. 2 to the power 3 to the power 2 or 3 to the power 2 to the power 3 or 5 to the power 1 to the power 3. Now what happens here is you've got a particular number let's say A which has a particular power let's call it M and then you have another power of this entire number which is let's say N okay let's simplify this one 2 to the power 3 to the power 2 now we know 2 to the power 3 means what it means 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 has to be multiplied three times by itself and then you have this to the power 2 right or I can also write this as 2 into 2 into 2 into again this entire thing is multiplied or has the power of 2 so you can put also write this as this as 1 into this but what do I note? I note that this basically makes 2 is being multiplied by itself 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so I can also write this as 2 to the power 6 ok let's consider another example 3 to the power 2 into the power 3 so you can write this as 3 into 3 to the power 3 or we write this 3 into 3 3 into 3 if you were to assume basically that 3 into 3 is equal to a then this becomes a to the power 3 but what do I notice here again what I notice here is the 3 is being multiplied by itself how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can also write this as 3 to the power 6. Let's take another one. 5 to the power 1 to the power 3. This can be written as 5 into 5 into 5 or 5 to the power 3. Now in all these cases there is one thing which is common and what is that? You know when you see 2 to the power 6 so the power is 6 interestingly this 6 is equal to what? 3 into 2 similarly here 3 is again to the power 6 and 6 is equal to what? 2 into 3 again 5 cube 3 3 is equal to what? 1 now in all these equations if you see the product or the ultimate power is equal to what was 3 here? 3 was basically m I wrote this as a m to the power m bracket to the power n and 2 was what? n Similarly, here 2 was what? m and 3 is equal to n. So we say that a to the power m bracket to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. And this is basically my rule of power which says that when you give a particular power to a number and then whatever is the product is given a further power in this case basically the first power is m the second power is n then that is equal to the product of these two powers is what the power is equal to